Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on our number system. Our number system is very convenient to use because it is a base 10 system. That is, the number 10 plays a very important part in this system and makes counting and calculations much easier. Consider the number 18. Our base 10 number system can explain this number in the following ways. 18 equals 10 plus 8. 18 equals 1 times 10 plus 8. 18 equals 1 lot of 10 and 8 ones. Can you find other ways to express 18 using our base 10 system? Counting by tens. This is a basic skill and all students must be encouraged to practice it. For example, the easiest way to count by 10 is as follows, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on. You can start at other numbers, for example, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You can start at a number and go down and decrease as you go down to zero. And there's an example here. You can start at any particular number and just keep adding 10. So there, there are the two examples here. So this one here, we start at 5 and keep adding 10. Or we can start at 8 and keep adding 10. And you can see how easy it is because if we start at 5, the last digit is 5 in each case. That's why it's such a beautiful system. And if we start at 8, then the last digit is 8 in each case. And it makes it so much easier. The hundreds chart. So this is a very interesting chart that's used in a lot of classrooms in the primary schools where we go from 1 to 10, 11 to 20, etc. right up to 100. The hundreds chart to the left is very popular in classrooms and helps students to practice many skills with respect to counting. Counting by tens starting from 10. You can see that in the last column. There's the last column there, see? 10, 20, 30, etc. We can also choose any number from the top row and count on by tens as we work down the column. So for example, if you choose this column here, 4, 14, 24, 34. If you choose that column there, 6, 16, 26, 36, etc. We can choose any number within the chart and the number directly below it is 10 more than the chosen number. Let's say we choose 48. The number below it is 10 more than 48. And you can do that with any number. Even and odd numbers alternate with each column. For example, odd numbers, even numbers. Odd numbers, even numbers, and so on. Now here's another hundreds chart. So you can see from 1 to 100. Now I've got some numbers highlighted in green. Now what does that mean? Or what does that tell us? The hundreds chart to the left highlights the 4 times tables from 4 times 1 equals 4 up to 4 times 25 equals 100. Can you find other examples of times tables? So 4 1's are 4, 4 2's are 8, 4 3's are 12, 4 4's are 16, 4 5's are 20, etc. Right up to 4 times 25 equals 100. The hundreds chart to the left highlights the 6 times tables from 6 times 1 equals 6 to 6 times 16 equals 96. Can you find other examples of times tables? 6 1's are 6, 6 2's are 12, 6 3's are 18, 6 4's are 24, 6 5's are 30, and so on. So we've seen some interesting little sums in this video, and we've just seen the very importance of the hundreds chart, and a lot of work can be done on the hundreds chart, so see if you can explore it with your teachers and see what other patterns you can come up with.